Okay, today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about um, the Serra's lights and all these craters that are being formed on um, moons and planets. And I shared this paper, how long ago was that? The uh, 12th of May. This is um, the Lorenz effect, where energy comes in, spins around in a circle, and then is fired back out um, upwards. So the energy comes in through the bottom, spins around in a circle, reconnects in the middle, and forms a vortex that you can see right there. And now by reverse engineering, if we go the other direction and have the funnel come down into the disk, it will form the charge pattern that you see there on the left. So to do this um, I boiled a pan of water because it's energy from underneath and it should do what it's doing there, spin around in a circle and then go up in a vortex. It should spin around both left and right clockwise and counterclockwise then come back into the middle and form a vortex. So that's the theory. Energy travels in a double helix and when it meets matter it starts to spin around in circles and then it comes in and forces a vortex and that's how you move matter and that's how the energy that is in the water moves the water upwards um, as steam. So let's have a look. Just before we do that these are the patterns that are on Ceres and uh, the Gale Crater, the Ceres Crater, the Hale Crater, Mercury, the Moon and there's another one there I think that's Mimas. So um, yeah this is the pattern energy forms as it moves either upwards or downwards because it's both the same action just in reverse. Let's see if it happens. Okay so we've got the pan of water and it should be rotating around the edges and spinning around to one side. So you can see it's bubbling, rotation in the center, there'll be more of that in a bit. Now there we go. That is it rotating both directions, from the left and from the right, counterclockwise and clockwise, passing through each other to meet there. That's where they meet and go in through the middle. Now you can see water spitting everywhere because that is water that's had so much energy it didn't even have time to turn into steam and that's exactly the same as uh, radiation. When particles are thrown off it's because of excess energy. Now I'm just going to leave it playing for a few minutes and you can decide for yourself whether or not what I'm saying about energy travel is true. Thanks very much. My name's Lee and I'm a Christian. <laughs>